بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طالبات الثاني المتميزات نكمل التمارين معاكم make sure of your understanding question 3 a full tank was made as shape of cylinder its base radius 3 meter and its high 9 meter topped by hemisphere calculate the volume and surface area of the tank this is the tank consists of cylinder and topped by a hemisphere the radius of the base of cylinder is 3 meter and high of cylinder is 9 meter to find the volume of tank volume of tank is equal to volume of cylinder plus volume of hemisphere V equal to volume of cylinder is given by the rule pi r square edge plus volume of hemisphere is given by the rule 4 over 3 pi r with power 3 this is the rule of the volume of sphere and the volume of hemisphere is 1 over 2 multiplied by the volume of the sphere v equal now i will substitute the values of r and edge in this rule v equal to pi r square r is the radius of the base of cylinder is 3 3 square multiply edge is the height of cylinder is 9 plus 1 over 2 multiply 4 over 3 pi r with power 3 r is represent the radius of the hemisphere the radius of hemisphere is <coughs> is the radius of cylinder 3 so 3 with power 3 and this is equal to pi is 3.14 multiply 3 with power 2 is 9 multiply 9 is 81 plus 2 with 4 will be 2 over 3 and pi is 3.14 multiply 3 with power 3 is 27 and this is equal to 254.34 multiply uh, plus 56.52 and this is equal to 310.86 meter with power 3 this is the unit of volume now to get the surface area of the tank surface area is the total area total area of the tank is given by the rule total area is equal to the area total area of cylinder 2 pi r edge plus 1 base is equal to pi r square the lateral area of the cylinder is 2 pi r edge plus the, uh, the, the area of the base is pi r square. There is one base only. Plus the total area of the hemisphere. The total area of the sphere is 4 pi r square. R square. And the total area of the hemisphere multiply this rule by 1 over 2. Now I substitute the values of R and edge in the rule. 2 multiply pi is 3.14.
multiply r is 3 multiply edge is 9 plus pi r square pi is 3.14 r square r is 3 square is 9 plus 1 over 2 multiply 4 is 2 and pi is 3.14 multiply r square is 9 and this is equal to 169.56 plus 28.56 26 plus 56.52 and this is equal to 254.34 meter square this is the total area of the tank اذا نعيد شرحه بصوره سريعه حتى نجد الحجم لهذا الخزان الحجم مال هذا الخزان الخزان يتكون من اسطوانه ونصف كره الاسطوانة الحجم ماله اشنو؟ باي ار سكوير ايدج بلس الحجم مال نصف الكرة حجم الكرة هو 4 over 3 باي ار with باور 3 لكن اذا غدنا نجد حجم نصف الكرة فقط راح نضرب حجم الكرة في نصف ونعوضه يطلع الناتج توتال اريا المساحة الكلية للخزان انا عندي اسطوانة واعلى الاسطوانة اش اكو؟ مثل القبة نصف كرة إذا المساحة السطحية للخزان كله أش راح يكون؟ هو المساحة الجانبية مال الأسطوانة اللي هو اللي هي أشني 2 باي ار ايج بلس مساحة قاعدة واحدة فقط اللي هي أشني باي ار سكوير هذه القاعدة الفوق راح تختفي لأنه أش صار فوقه؟ صار فوقه نصف كرة لذلك راح تختفي فراح نقول فقط مساحة قاعدة واحدة بلس المساحة السطحية مال نصف الكرة هي المساحة السطحية مال الكرة اللي هي باي ار 4 باي ار سكوير نضربها في اش في نصف لانه عندنا نصف كرة ونعوض عن الار والاج والباي حتى تطلع يطلع الناتج. كويستشن 2 اسفيريكال فول دامب has surface area of 576 <coughs> pi meter square find its volume مستودع وقود على شكل كرة أو كروي الشكل has surface area مساحته السطحية of أش قد 576 pi meter square find its volume جد حجمه زين What's the shape? The shape is a sphere. So the volume of sphere is equal to V equal to 4 over 3 pi R with power 3. To find the volume, I need the radius of the sphere. Now, to find the radius of the sphere, I will use the rule of surface area of the sphere, or total area. Total area is equal to 4 pi r square substitute the total area instead by ta ta is 576 pi equal to 4 pi r square and this is equal to r square r square equal to 576 pi divided by 4 pi and this is equal to 144 but, th but this is r square I need to r by taking the square root r is equal to square root of 144 and this is equal to 12 so r is equal to 12 meter this is the radius of the sphere now to find the volume of sphere i will take this rule v equal to 4 divided by 3 pi r with power 3 r is 12 with power 3 
and this is equal to 2304 pi meter with power 3 this is the volume of the dump هذا هو حجم المستودع اذا احنا ايش عملنا هسه استخدمنا قانون التوتال اريا طبعا التوتال اريا هي نفس السيرفيس اريا يعني المساحه السطحيه نفس المساحه الكليه استخدمناه لايجاد قيمه ار اوكي ليش لانه هو كان اعطاني التوتال اريا بعد ما اوجدت الار اقدر ان اجد الفوليوم v equal to 4 over 3 pi r with power 3 question 5 a container as shape of hemisphere has surface area of 128 pi centimeter square find its volume what's the shape the shape is hemisphere to find the volume of it i will use this rule v equal to 4 over 3 pi r with power 3 and multiply this rule by 1 over 2 because the shape is a hemisphere now to find volume i need 2 r but there is no radius in the question so i need to find the radius from the rule of surface area Total area, the total area of the hemisphere is equal to 4 pi r square and multiply it by 1 over 2 because the shape is a hemisphere. Now I substitute the total area is 128 pi equal to 1 over 2 multiply 4 is 2 pi r square now r square is equal to 128 pi divided by 2 pi and this is equal to 64 now to find r i will take the square root r is equal to square root of 64 and this is equal to 8 meter this is the radius of a hemisphere now to find the volume I will substitute R in this rule V is equal to 1 over 2 divided by 4 over 3 is 2 over 3 and pi is 3.14 multiply by R with power 3 8 with power 3 and this is equal to 1024 pi divided by 3 meter with power sorry centimeter with power 3 also 8 is centimeter because the unit in the question is centimeter إذا هسه ايش عملنا احنا؟ استخدمنا بالبداية قانون الحجم مال نصف الكرة حجم الكرة هو 4 over 3 pi r with power 3 and multiply it by 1 over 2 why because the shape is a hemisphere لأنه الشكل هو شنو؟ نصف كرة زين هذا القانون يحتاج إلى r و r ما موجودة عندي إذا أحتاج أن أجده من المعلومة اللي كان عطانية بالسؤال إيش كان عطاني كان عطاني surface area أو total area total area is equal to total area of the sphere is 4 pi r square أوكي هذه هي المساحة الكلية للكرة ولكن إحنا عندنا نصف كرة لذلك نضربه في نصف نعوض ونحل المعادلة راح تطلع لي قيمة r بعد ما تطلع لنا قيمة r نجي نحسب الفوليوم بعد ما نعوضه وين في هذا القانون question 6 a cylinder baker يعني دورة اسطواني has volume of 128 pi centimeter with power 3 and high of 8 centimeter find its total area 
the shape is a cylinder so to find the uh, the lateral area i will use this rule lateral area is equal to 2 pi r edge this is the lateral uh, the lateral area of cylinder to find lateral area i need to radius and height High is 8 cm, but there is no radius in the question, so I need to find the radius. To find the radius, I will use the <coughs> rule of the volume. V, volume of cylinder V is equal to pi r square edge. V is 128 pi equal to pi multiply r square multiply edge is 8 now r square is equal to 128 pi divided by 8 pi and this is equal to 16 so i will take the square root r is equal to square root of 16 is 4 centimeter this is the radius of cylinder. Now to find the lateral area, LA equal to pi r edge. And substitute the values of r and edge in this rule. 2 multiply pi is 3.14. Multiply r is 4 centimeter. Multiply edge is 8 centimeter. So the result will be 64 pi centimeter with power 2. This is the lateral area of the cylinder. Question 7. If the ratio of volume of sphere has radius R1, 2 volume of second sphere has radius r2 is equal to 8 divided by 128 and 25 find the ratio of surface area of first sphere to surface area of second sphere the ratio of surface area of first sphere to surface area of second sphere is given by 4 pi r1 square divided by 4 pi r2 square. This is the surface area of the first sphere. And this is the surface area of the second sphere. And this is the ratio of the surface area of the first sphere, uh, sphere and uh, to surface area of second sphere. To find this ratio, I need to the values of R1 and R2. To find R1 and R2, I will use this ratio. This, this ratio represents the ratio of volume of a sphere, <coughs> of the first sphere to volume of second sphere. So, V1 divided by V2 is equal to 8 divided by 125 v1 is the volume of the first sphere is given by the rule 4 over 3 pi r1 with power 3 r1 is the radius of the first sphere divided by v2 represent the volume of second sphere and it's given by 4 over 3 pi r2 with power 3 r2 is radius of second sphere and this is equal to 8 divided by 125 now that's lead to r1 with power 3 divided by r2 with power 3 is equal to 8 divided by 125 
that's lead to R1 with power 3 equal to 8 and R2 with power 3 equal to 125 and that's lead to R1 equal to by taking the cubic root I will find R1 equal to cubic root of 8 is 2 and R2 equal by taking the cubic root I will get R2 equal to cubic root of 125 is 5 this is the value of R1 and this is the value of R2 now to find this ratio I will substitute R1 and R2 in this rule 4 pi multiply R1 square R1 is 2 2 square divided by 4 pi multiply R2 square R2 is 5 5 square and this is equal to 2 square is 4 divided by 5 square is 25 this is the ratio of surface area of the first sphere to surface area of second sphere إذن نرجع نعيد أش أوجدنا إحنا هسا النسبة بين المساحة الكلية للكرة الأولى إلى المساحة الكلية للكرة الثانية كتبت المساحة الكلية للكرة الأولى على المساحة الكلية للكرة الثانية لو شعنا بأنه إيش عندنا نواقص عندنا ال R1 وال R2 أحتاج أن أجدهم إمين أجدهم أجدهم من هذه النسبة هذه النسبة إيش تمثل لي تمثل لي النسبة ما بين ال V1 وال V2 أعوض عن ال V1 وأعوض عن ال V2 ال V1 إيش هي 4 over 3 pi R1 with power 3 هذا إيش نو الرول مال حجم الكرة الأولى وال v2 تمثل لي حجم الكرة الثانية اللي هي 4 over 3 pi r2 with power 3 نختصر هاي مع هاي راح نحصل على <تصفيق> r1 with power 3 divided by r2 with power 3 equal to 8 over 125 and that's lead to r1 equal to and r2 equal 5 and substitute the values of r1 and r2 in this ratio to find the ratio of surface area of the first sphere to surface area of second sphere نكمل التمارين ان شاء الله المحاضرة القادمة ظلت عندنا solve the exercise